Hallelujah, I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this time, God. Yes. We thank you for allowing us to draw closer and yes. closer to you, Father. We come totally surrendered thank you, Jesus. and yielded to you and your spirit on yes. tonight, Father. We thank you that your word will flow uninterrupted, unhindered, unstopped, and unblocked by any satanic or demonic force. Father, we thank you that thank you, you Jesus. will continue to speak through our vocal cords, Father, and think through our minds, God. We decrease so that you increase in this place, God, and we'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, yes. and all the praise. We bless you for every life, every ear that you have listening under the sound of our voice, every eye that you have viewing tonight, God, that you be glorified, God, that change takes place like never before. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the comments to make sure you're sharing. Yes, Don't feel when you're not sharing. I'm asking you right now just to go ahead and share it. Start a watch party, party, whatever you need to do. So let's go keep it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Go get it. Hallelujah. You still have time to share. Yeah. Share this with everyone you know. It's a life words that can never be erased. Come on, somebody Thank you, say, I'm a carrier of the kingdom. Carry the kingdom. I carry his goodness. I carry his glory. Hallelujah. I carry his presence. I carry the power to demonstrate things on this earth. Come on, somebody say, I carry the power carry to the demonstrate change here on this earth. Hallelujah. Christ lives in me. Come on. Christ lives in me. Christ is living in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, make some noise to Jesus. Let us know you're here. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we want to welcome you to another Power Pack Night. <laughs> Somebody say it's Power Pack. It's power about to pack. go down. Yeah. <laughs> Yet again, of carriers of the kingdom, yes. where we remind Thank you that you Jesus. carry the presence of God, you carry the glory of God, you carry the anointing of God. Hallelujah. You carry the power of God, the power to demonstrate change on this earth. You are the prophetic voice that God is calling forth. And it is time for you to rise up and for all the world to see 
this change that's going to take place through you. Say change is taking place and it's taking place through me. Hallelujah. Change is taking place and it's taking place through me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And so when we're talking about this power, we... If you weren't on last week, then you need to, I, I, I uh, suggest that you go back and you just um, view and listen to uh, mm -hmm. where God took us last week mm -hmm. and, and, and just go ahead and just combine it with where he is taking us today. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so when we're talking about this power, mm -hmm. we're talking about the ability. We're talking about the influence that you have the influence of God yeah. in your life, this authority and this control mm -hmm. that he's giving you the believer over this earth. Amen. Amen. And when you're demonstrating that's that, that that's saying that you're going to reveal somebody say, I'm revealing Jesus. I'm introducing Jesus through me. Hallelujah. You're making him known uh -huh. on the earth. You're, you're giving full expression of who he is. Amen. And so this change is in this 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 change will take place. We will see a modification taking place. We see it now. Adjustments have been taking place uh, uh, that are in alignment with the word of God. Transformation is being taking place here on this earth. There's being a reshaping taking place. God is remolding. He's yeah. rebuilding. Hallelujah. There's a revolution pastor taking yeah. place on this earth. He's causing a renewal and a restoration of all that he is and how he intends for our life to be mm -hmm. to take place on this earth. Amen. When when we when we began to God began to share this with us uh, and you think about a change and transformation, it's such a powerful message. Yes. It's, it's, it's just a, a powerful, massive subject. Um, and, and right now. Even when we were on our fast, when we began to go into our fast, um, God told us that we began to, to fast first for the individual, yeah. for the inward man, and then for the church, and then for the nation. So it's clear and evident, and it's been proven, that right now transformation is needed individually. It's needed Amen. in the church sure. uh, uh, as a corporate body. Yes. And it's, 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 it's very necessary in our nation. Amen. Amen. And so we begin to tell you and uh, Pastor, we begin to talk about this transformation last week, um, uh, beginning with us and then as the ind individual. And then in turn, uh, we as the inter individual introduce this this change and this, this demonstration of change through our prophetic voices back into the church. Yes. And then within the church, we then begin to create a culture that can now be introduced back into our society. Yeah, the kingdom culture. The kingdom culture. Back into our society, back into our cities, uh -huh. back into our our, our, our our neighborhoods, into our communities, into uh -huh. our church. Amen. Amen. And and ultimately into to this nation, into this world. Yes. And, and that's that's what we need. We as the believer Mm -hmm. Demonstrating this change, operating as God's agents of change. Somebody say, I'm God's agent of change. I'm his God's representative. Agent. I'm who he's put in charge to bring about this change. I'm a driving force. Yes. We've got to realize we're, we're who we are in Christ. We're a driving yeah. force for change. You've got to expand your mental capacity to receive this word that we are telling you tonight. Amen. Amen. We are his driving force for change. And we're, we're not going to do it, do this on our own. If you're trying to understand this with your own physical mindset, you're, you're going to be lost. The Bible says it's just foolishness to you. You've got to be in the spirit. That means you've got to be in alignment with God, what God is saying. In order for you to be in alignment with what he's saying, you've got to know what he says. You've got to spend time with his word. You do. Being an agent for reformation, mm -hmm. being an agent uh, uh, causing about this reorganization, this restructuring yeah. to take place. Somebody say God is overhauling this nation. <laughs> He's overhauling. He's causing an overhaul to yeah. take place. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So right now, as we speak, whether whether anybody likes it or not, we are living right now in the agent in the uh, uh, age of kingdom. Uh -huh. You told us this uh, last week uh, in your message. God revealed to you a powerful message that we are now living in the age of kingdom. He gave you this pastor, this this message, Pastor. It was so powerful. Just share with us a little bit about 
this living in this age of kingdom? What what is living in this age of kingdom all about? So living in the age of kingdom, it's it's all about transitioning back into what Jesus originally came for. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to fulfill the law. And in him fulfilling the law, it was to take the pressure, the force, the stipulations off of us because he knew that we in our with our human effort would not be able to meet the requirements that came with the law. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when he came, he ushered in grace. Mm -hmm. And so grace gives us the ability to go to God for ourselves. Religion says that you have to go to a man and have a man go to God in your stead, in your place, to repent for you, to ask for forgiveness for you. But when Jesus came on the scene, he paid the penalty, not only fulfilling the law, but he paid the penalty for the sins that you and I would commit uh, against the kingdom. And so because he paid the price for it, grace says that, uh, that I've provided to you what we call unmerited favor, Amen. which means that I don't count your sins against you. They're all, the price has already been paid. You've already been forgiven and repent. When he came saying repent, he was saying, make what we call a 180 degree turn. Turn away from your old mindset. Turn away from your old way of thinking because the kingdom is here before you. Amen. And Amen. what it does is it frees you and I up to go to God for ourselves, to receive the Holy Spirit. You see, and under the law, under the Old Testament, the prophet, he, he received the, uh, the Holy Spirit coming upon him. The kings, they received the Holy Spirit coming upon them but as believers we receive the Holy Spirit coming to live in us as a guarantee of our inheritance and so when we start talking about the kingdom age you and I we have been gifted with different gifts different callings so that we can operate hallelujah not only in the church but outside of the four walls the church Amen. to establish the kingdom of heaven heaven on earth Amen. and expand it across the globe Amen. you see what see, I'm, I'm gonna say this and this is the truth Jesus' intention was for the government of heaven to rule the earth. Yes. But it takes you understanding the language of kingdom. And see, most of us have been going to church our whole lives without having an understanding that the language of the kingdom is, <laughs> is, is, is based on you understanding that God's word are spirit and they are life. Yes. Which means it takes out your natural thought process. It takes out your carnal or fleshly way of thinking the thought process that was developed in the culture of society physically mm -hmm. based on what they knew. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the word of God, it is spirit and it is life because what God did was he, hallelujah, engulfed himself within the word. So this is why the word says he is the word. He, he and his word are one. So when you look, you have to understand the language of the speak, the kingdom. And understanding the language of the kingdom caused you to take on the mindset of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking from heaven yes. instead of thinking from my natural state of being. Amen. Now I'm thinking with the mind of Christ from the from the from the the the, the, the the provision of God, I'm thinking from the perspective of God, and I don't allow the perspective that I learned from the culture, from the world system, to determine my end result. So this is the age of the kingdom being ushered into this present day and time, and so we can't go back. We can't go back. And when we say that, we don't mean, now I'm going to say this to, so to get, let, let me be clear. When we say that the uh, the age of the religious church, the traditional church is over, that doesn't mean that we're going to stop having church. The church will never end because you, the people, and I, we are the church per se. But now we have the responsibility. God is thrusting us out of the four walls into, the, into society. And in the society where you are, that's your pulpit. That is where you are to minister the word of God. That's what we mean when we're transitioning from the traditional church age into the age of the kingdom. Operating the uh, operating uh, the kingdom system outside of the four walls of the church. That's good. Um, when I think about that message that you preached 
and we're talking about this age of the kingdom, mm -hmm. that just moved us right in right into that same message of this kingdom age and recognizing who we are. Yes, that's key. Recognizing operating in that kingdom culture mm -hmm. and recognizing that we just as we're saying here tonight, we said last week, you're the prophetic voice mm -hmm. that you're able to demonstrate change that God is going to use. So it's not the laws of man, but what God has predestined, predestined right. and set up mm -hmm. how he has intended for us to flow here on this earth mm -hmm. and not just knowing that, but knowing that you, you have been equipped, yeah. you have been anointed. You have been commissioned. You have been given an, an ability and the power to demonstrate this change right. or the power to reveal this change, the uh -huh. power to make this change known, mm -hmm. to express it here on this earth. It's time for the people of God to know what they have on the inside yeah. of them, what's been made available to them. Mm -hmm. Once you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all that he is begins to flow through you to the earth. Mm -hmm. But we've got to be in a kingdom mindset. Yeah. We've got to understand what that kingdom mindset encompasses. Mm -hmm. We've got to know what what you know what that what that entails. Amen. So when Jesus came, Jesus came preaching that the kingdom is at hand. Right. Simply put, he was saying to repent and to change the way you think about yeah. things. Mm -hmm. He was saying to change the way that you think about things mm -hmm. because a new way of living is emerging. Mm -hmm. A new way of living. Somebody said a new way of living. Way he of said life. to adjust your mindset. Yeah. Make the necessary adjustment. Amen. Make the modification. He's, he's basically saying be transformed. Renew your mind. Amen. Yeah. Expand your mental capacity to receive what I'm about to pour out. All of who I am. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a game changer. <laughs> Jesus was the game changer, amen. Yes, he was. Listen, it's football. He is, it, it's, he is the game changer. It's yes. football season, right? Yes, it's football so let me season. let me let me make it relevant to my football fans, amen. <laughs> Jesus is the game changer. Yes, he is. Jesus is a, is an intercessor. He goes in and he intercedes. Jesus made an interception. Amen. He made an interception on our behalf. Just when the devil thought he had won. Just when the devil thought he had won, mm -hmm. Jesus stopped him right in his tracks and took the keys. Amen. He took the keys. <laughs> he interrupted every plan and every ability that the enemy had to control your life. Mm -hmm. Listen, Jesus took hold of this power of the enemy and gave it back to us. Isn't that what a... What, Come on, football. That's, that's help me out a little bit. Help me, help me out a little bit, Pastor. <laughs> God is using us. Jesus has intercepted. He has made an interception, and He's given us the ball. We're in control, and we're about to make the touchdown. We're about to. We're not taking sides, but we're taking over. Taking over. We're about to score. Amen. Amen. And God is using you, the believer. As this prophetic voice, he's using you to take part in this transformation. He's using you, uh -huh. the believer, to demonstrate this change, uh -huh. to, to bring it on in. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and using you, your voice to, to ignite this demonstration. Yeah. It's your voice that's going to, to catapult this demonstration, to wow. cause this demonstration to be seen, to, to get started, to be ignited. Amen. Somebody say it's time to catch on fire. Time to catch on it's fire. It's time to catch on fire. It's time for the good news of Jesus to spread like a wildfire. Is this good? Yeah. It's time to catch on fire. All over the nation, it's time to catch on fire. Uh, 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 to, to every corner of the earth that this gospel is being preached. Mm -hmm. God gave you the authority. He gave you the, the dominion over this earth. Therefore, it's got to be. Pastor, we've got to realize we're waiting on God, but it's got to be carried out through us. Mm -hmm. It's time to become and demonstrate this transforming voice for the kingdom of God. When I think about it, Jeremiah says it's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. What, what, come on, tell us about that, Pastor. I see you. I hear you. I, I, I sense it. When Jeremiah says just like fire. He said that he... It, when he was talking about just like fire, shut up in my bones, when you look, when you look at Jeremiah... He was like, I can't contain this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to 
keep it to myself. Come on. And, and and he was at a point where although he was trying to suppress it to keep his cool because people didn't like what he was saying, but although they didn't like what he was saying, he was speaking what we, we are now doing, demonstrating and preaching present truth. And so it was to the point where it was bubbling up and welling up so much that he was unable to contain it or suppress it or keep it to himself. And that's where you are today. You're, you've been in the church and you've been, you've been telling people that you have a calling on your life. You've been commissioned to do this and you are an agent for change and you have gifts that has to be used, but you've been trying to figure out where can I use it at? You've been looking in all the wrong places. You've been trying to figure out where can I use my gift? How can I operate in my calling in the church? But God is saying, no, I need you to operate and function outside of the church. That you're being, you, you, you're suppressed and you're ready to, to some of y'all just ready to Come explode, on. blow up because you have so much word. You've been absorbing so much word, hallelujah, but you have not been given out and sharing, hallelujah. And so now is the time. There's a, enough room all over this world in your community, wherever you may be, hallelujah, to spread this word and demonstrate it to. What did you say at the beginning? Exhibit, hallelujah, yeah, truth. Yeah, exactly. In your lifestyle, in your responses, hallelujah, in your presentation. Yeah. And then that's where Jeremiah was. He was like, I can't keep this. I can't hold this. No way. I can't suppress this. No I, way. I, I got to let it go. Come no on, way. let's get it. Somebody, y'all, y'all better get with me on this. Listen. That's so good. Another thing we have to think about is some people don't think that change is possible. <laughs> yeah. Some people I've don't think a lot of people say that. They don't think they have the power to change, let alone God use me uh -huh. to change someone else. Yeah. They they don't believe that they possess this power. Mm -hmm. But the devil is a liar. You have the power to demonstrate change on this earth. That's what we're that's if you don't get anything else out of this word tonight, mm -hmm. we're going to we're going to prove it to you in just a few moments. Mm -hmm. You have the power to demonstrate change in this earth. Yeah. Some of you, you, you think, well, I've done too much. There's no way that God is going to use me. Uh, 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 if that's you, you got to believe tonight that you were born with a purpose. Yes, you are. You were born with a purpose. God has a plan for your life. He had a plan for your life mm -hmm. even before you were formed in your mother's room. Come on, come on this is scriptural. Yes. There's greatness on the inside yes, of you. you we've been telling you week after week after <laughs> week there's, there's greatness on the inside of you. You have an anointing. Uh -huh. You have giftings on the inside of you. Uh -huh. You have the power to do great things and to be great in this earth. God doesn't change his mind, Pastor, no, about gifts and callings. We we talked about this yeah. uh, during the fast in Romans 11. He, he doesn't take it back. He doesn't no. renew. God is not flaky. No. He doesn't go back on it. <laughs> He's not, he doesn't go back on his promises. He doesn't break his word. No. The Bible says he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he says it, he's going to he's gonna do it. And not exactly. only does he do it, he's going to make it good. Yeah. We keep telling you, don't underestimate the power that's on the inside of you. Stop underestimating yourself Amen. because of positions or titles or you've been looked over. Amen. God sees you. Somebody <laughs> say, God sees me. God I'm no longer going me. to be looked over. Mm -hmm. I see now how God is using me in this earth. Uh -huh. Don't look at the amount of years that you've spent in church. Don't look at the amount of time that mm -hmm. you have. Don't look at the education that you have mm -hmm. because God has removed those barriers. Yeah. <laughs> He's Strip, he stripped all that amen. down. He's he stripped down every wall of religion here amen. on this earth. Amen. amen. When I think about one of the translations um, in Romans chapter twelve, when he tells you don't not to be conformed to the world, mm -hmm. one of the translations says, "Don't be so well adjusted to wow. to the culture." <laughs> to the culture of the world. Some of us are too comfortable with the culture that's going on in this world. So much so that you begin to fit into it without even thinking about it. Amen. You don't even think about it. You're just going day to day to day and, and, and you need to fix your attention on God, the kingdom culture. Be transformed so you can demonstrate change with to someone else. He says when you when you get in alignment with the kingdom culture, that's when you'll be changed from the inside out. Yeah. That's when you'll readily 
and skillfully recognize what he wants you to do and not only recognize it but to respond quickly somebody say i'm about to respond quickly to respond god quickly. has desired me to respond quickly yes. Yes. so you're going to do this not as the culture around you is responding but you're going to because that culture is always dragging you down to its level of immaturity but god has said he's calling you to a level of maturity uh -huh. he's bringing out he's about to bring out the best in you god is bringing out the best in you right now because you're 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 desiring this transformation mm -hmm. he's developing you he's maturing you uh, so that you can this 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 change and this transformation can be seen mm -hmm. and it can be demonstrated to the world amen amen hallelujah just we've got to get pastor we've got to get to the place where we don't care about who's looking at us we don't care about who's talking about us because we're talking good we're speaking the language of the kingdom amen. and when i speak the language of the kingdom i'm fearless hallelujah i'm walking in faith hallelujah i'm a person of faith and i'm <laughs> i know that my words are are spiritual forces and whatever i decree it'll be established right and whatever i tear down it's got to be torn down and demolished i literally shut down the enemy with my words amen and so I allow this word of God that's been engrafted in me. That means it's not coming out of me. Amen. No, it's, it's flowing it's freely. <laughs> I'm renewed and yes. I'm transformed. Yeah, that means gold is gone. Yeah. Here's what God said to me. Oh my God. And and He said that it was never His intention for you as a believer to be complacent in a building. Never. It was never his intention for you to be so comfortable with going to the building, going through the motions that you would that you would uh, just suppress the gifts and calling that that he's he's placed on the inside of you. I mean, and so as he has allowed what's uh, going on to take place and he has thrusted us outside of the four walls we we have to understand we're still unified and we're still together but now you have to seek god on what you should be doing and this is what we call back in february the awakening yes, this is what we call yes, uh what the saying. shift in the shaking yes, and the purging saying. hallelujah come on you have a gift you have a calling and we keep sharing with you there's greatness on the inside of you and somebody in the world is counting on you someone's depending on you the world is waiting on you to begin to operate and function in your gifts in your callings hallelujah but you're sitting back comfortable waiting <laughs> on somebody to recognize you to speak before the people in the building and God is saying no I need you outside of the Come building forward. I need you in your community I need you in, in the career your career field some of you are entrepreneurs and yes. god needs you to be yes. out there yes. hallelujah allowing the ingenuity the innovation and the creativity that he's placed on the inside of you hallelujah to manifest but we can't we've got we've gotten too complacent yeah y'all we do somebody is, is anybody with me what i'm saying oh, this? we've got right too here. comfortable hallelujah and we've allowed ourselves and this is this is not good to become, become consumers instead of hallelujah entrepreneurs and, 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 and producers yeah, of, of yeah. what God said. Y'all waiting on Patty LaBelle to bake you a sweet potato pie when he's giving you your grandmama's recipe. Come I ain't on. talking about Patty LaBelle like that. I'm just making it real to you. You waiting on somebody else to create on. something so that you can go by. When God has given you ideas and concepts, witty inventions, hallelujah, power to get wealth, hallelujah, and you've been sitting on it and it's a precedent, but he has called and anointed us to tell you hallelujah to come out hallelujah. and go forth in Jesus mighty name. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago. What do you have in the house? What do you have in the Everything house? Everything that you have, you have on the inside. You of already you. have it. You just got to accept but it. We don't spend time we don't, we don't spend time listening for the voice of God. And sometimes when we hear the voice of God, we don't spend enough time to hear him speak to us so that we can uh, respond, hallelujah, with action. See, we, we talk about believe, but guess what? Believing always comes with a corresponding action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And that actions are the instructions that you hear from the Lord. What did, what did, what did Jesus' mama say to, say to, say to those uh, servants? Whatever he tell you whatever to do. Whatever he tell you to do, whatever, just, just do it. it. Some of y'all are millionaires and don't even know it. Some of y'all, it's, it's an avalanche of, of, of finances oh to God. come your way. But because you chose I've to sit that. on the gifts, the talents, the abilities, Hallelujah. the ingenuity, the creativity. The power. You, you chose to suppress your grandmama's coconut cake. Your grandma was sweet potato pie. You chose to sit on it and, and, and not allow what God has placed on you to come forth. And now you begging. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. What are you going to do tonight? It's time to come forth. It's time. What do you have in the house? Well, you have everything that you need. We're asking God for things that we already have. Spending time with God and being surrendered to him brings about understanding. It brings about an acceptance yes. because your 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 faith and your trust in him begins to build. And the more your trust and your faith begins to build, mm -hmm. the more you understand who he is and, and what he's giving you. Somebody shout, I got the power. I got the power. You got to receive this tonight. I have the power. What power? The power to use my voice, the power to use my hands to demonstrate change on this earth. Somebody shout, shout change is necessary. Change is necessary. It's necessary, it's whether necessary. you like it or it's not. Vital. It's it's, it's happening. It's, it, we told you before, in order for you to be able to handle what God is pouring out, He's pouring out His Spirit Man. on all the, those who will be in a place and have the capacity to be able to contain it, yeah. to receive that. And at first begins new in your mind, skin. new wine skin, yeah. fresh wine, new wine skin for fresh wine. Yeah. And yeah. you've got to be able to contain it. Mm -hmm. You've got to enlarge your capacity to receive. You've got to enlarge your mindset to receive. Mm -hmm. You've got to set your mind and set your affections yes. and your thought and yes. on, on the things that are of, in, in heaven and uh -huh. the word of God and align yourself uh -huh. with this so that you can flow the way he flows, yes. so that you can manifest the way Jesus manifested, yes. so you can demonstrate this power on the earth the way he demonstrated. Jesus said, I don't do anything unless I consult the Father. Yes. I don't do anything unless the Father wow. tells me to do it. Uh -huh. Somebody shout flow. I'm flowing oh, in the flow. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Flow. I'm full of. Mm -hmm. It's time to get full of and under the power of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. I'm fully loaded. Fully I'm loaded. fully loaded. This is, listen, the moment, this is what, what a lot of people are not told. The moment that you accept Jesus as your Lord and Come Savior, on. everything that he is, mm -hmm. you now become. Yes. Now you've got to continue to gain understanding mm -hmm. in these things so that it can manifest. Yes. Continue to mature. Yes. Being transformed. Uh -huh. Changing from glory to glory. Yes. By renewing your mind, uh -huh. by building yourself up with the word of God. This yes. is this power that's uh -huh. going to cause you to be able to demonstrate. You've got to make your salvation complete. Mm -hmm. We said, Lord, I receive you. And I, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. But we've got to complete that confession. Yeah. <laughs> we've got to we've got to live out this life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And complete this salvation. Mm -hmm. And then thereby causing someone else to do the same. Yeah. Pastor, this is how we manifest the kingdom here on this earth. The life that Jesus showed you, yes, you now demonstrate, he demonstrated, <laughs> show it to somebody else, yeah. be an example for someone else. Mm -hmm. You've been crucified with Christ. Uh -huh. He now lives in, in me. He now mm -hmm. lives in you Come and on. now lives through you. Yeah. And the glory is being revealed and the glory is seen. Yes. It's heavy with weight. It can't be yes. it can't be denied. Oh. It, it has Hallelujah. to be seen. Glory that's what glory God. that's what glory does. It's yes. seen. It's revealed. Yeah. It's it's breathtaking. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's an awakening. It wakes you up. It makes what you say. It causes you to be aware. It causes you to be alert. Yeah. Amen. Okay. And, and and listen. Some people don't even think that this change is even necessary. They don't. We, so you got some people that don't think they can change or be transformed or transform someone else. And then you got this other group of people who don't think that change is even necessary. Mm -hmm. The proof of it is you still have some people rebelling against what has occurred 
in our nation, in our world. The instruction and the strategy that we've released, that God has released to us, strategy and instruction yeah. here, week after week after week, uh -huh. we're still dealing with people acting lawlessly, yeah. um, out of control, just uh, just unruly, disorderly, out of order, disobedient. When God wow. is a God of order, yeah. God is a God of order, so we've got to get in order. Still trying to conduct business as usual, congregating as usual, gathering together. You got people not wearing a mask, walking through places, coughing and carrying on, putting other lives in danger. Mm -hmm. God is saying it's time for this to stop. Mm -hmm. You've got to adjust your mindset with the word of God. God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. He's a God of order. And so we should be operating in order. God, you told us that God has sheltered us and he shifted us mm -hmm. into this new way of life. Yeah. And so, but some have just shifted their old way of life into this new way of life. I don't know if you've been watching Infinite Champions, but a uh, 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 Zaire Tejan said that some of us are just carrying baggage from our old life into our new life and, and he, he just simply said you can't do that. It don't work. It don't work like that. You work. can't do that. You <laughs> God desires that you flow. God desires that you change. God desires that you mature, that you transition. Uh -huh. Out would be out would be done with the nonsense. Out with the old and <laughs> in with the new. new. Still trying to defend God when he wants you and what he wants when it's being clearly made manifest how he desires that you flow amen <laughs> it's 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 amazing oh my god that, you know we we say we love god <laughs> we do and we say we trust god trust him and then he the scripture tells us to pray for those who are in leadership yes we su we're supposed to work with the leadership. That's order. Although we don't agree with everything that leadership does because yes. the Holy Spirit is a gentleman operating and functioning through us. We don't cause commotion. Chaos. We bring about chaos. Uh, uh, and, and even if, even, I, I know that I have the Holy Spirit. I know I have divine protection, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I, 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 although I know that, I still follow the, the prerequisites that were placed before me. Because, because guess what? Everybody ain't at the same level of faith or belief that I'm at. Yes. And so, even if I don't feel the need to wear a mask, I'm going to wear it because I'm considerate of you. Amen. That's Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. I, Amen. I'm flowing through me as a gentleman. Hallelujah. And 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 and, and if you if you have this belief that the Holy Spirit or God is, is a rebellious God against what the government is saying you need to rethink that mm -hmm. we don't agree with everything but we cooperate with the Holy yes, Spirit yes. and when we cooperate with the Holy Spirit we're able to bring change through our demonstration yes yes and 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 and, and so this is the this is some of the same stuff that was going on in the Old Testament when we when, when in the new when Jesus came it wasn't so much the people that hated Jesus, it was the leadership. It was the it was the scribes. What is a scribe? A person who writes. It was the the the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the leaders of the, the the church at that time, the synagogue. And now we are making ourselves to appear as though we hate Jesus and what he stood for and what he brought. But as kingdom, if we, we flow with the Holy Spirit, and when we <laughs> flow good. with the Holy Spirit, and we respond and demonstrate with the Holy Spirit, we're able to manifest heaven on earth, establish kingdom, and expand it. Because That's now, good. we become the example that the world follows. Jesus. Jesus. That's, that's, what's, that's what's happening. We're demonstrating what Jesus would do. We we wear these little braces. What would Jesus we have do? The power We've got to the demonstrate power. this change. I've got the power. We have the ability. We have the anointing. We we have the Holy Spirit. We have there's it. no reason why we can't demonstrate no reason. This, this change to the world. No reason why we shouldn't be experiencing the goodness of God, the Amen. healing of God, the anointings of right. God. Amen. And and realizing that we have this power on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. We told you earlier this year that if you have any plans or you even think <laughs> that you'll be able to continue on with life the way that you have been, that you're going to 
suffer greatly. Mm -hmm. And that's not speaking doom or gloom. That's that's just the the the, 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 the word of the Lord is present truth. You will continue to have great challenges and difficulty. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so transformation is necessary. Uh, uh, our Bible, uh, the Bible tells us that when we try to carry on life with the traditions of men, uh -huh. that we make God's word powerless. <laughs> uh, yes. And so that's why some of us have no power. We have a form of godliness, uh -huh. but no power. Amen. It, it, we we have an outside appearance of holiness. Uh -huh. uh, 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 praise the Lord, saints, and all <laughs> these type of things. But we've made the word of God null and void. We've made it non-effective. We've made it invalid. We've made it worthless. We have abandoned. When we do that, we have abandoned everything that Jesus made free. Everything. We've walked away from it. Everything. And that's 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 a key point because you have we you, you have us as the church. Christianity, I'll say it, has should have never been included in uh the the the, the definition of religion. Because Christianity is a lifestyle, a lifestyle that demonstrates Jesus. Yes. It is a lifestyle that a we lifestyle. live to be yes, the expression good. or the life of Jesus in the earth. That's what Christianity is. But we've tried to mix the law with grace. And when you mix the law with grace, that is called what the, the word is called wicked, right? Y'all know what wicked is. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's, it's idol. It's devil worshiping. It goes against Everything that Jesus came for. You can use it for instruction to see what happened, but grace has his, uh, grace ushered in the kingdom age. And if you if you if you if you if you do your your research, you'll find out that uh, uh, before uh, the apostles left the earth, hallelujah, that's what was being demonstrated, and they were being crucified and and, and all of that, which was unnecessary. And then we came this order: we got to control the people. We got to get the people in order. Now you have uh, different names, and I'm not going to name any religion or anything of that nature. And you have, you see, in church, in traditions, in different denominations, they are mixed with, hallelujah, what we ran away from. Come on, teach. Law, legalism, hallelujah, dogmatic. And so this is why we have people suppressing and beating down your throat the Ten Commandments. But Grace says, because of love, hallelujah, I'm not going to commit fornication because of love. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be a liar because the love of God is what sustains me and drives me and pierces me. And, 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 and because the love of God, hallelujah, is what I'm cultivating. Hallelujah. Although the law is there for those who need it. Hallelujah. It's not my focus because love is the driving force that creates an atmosphere for the expression, the person of Christ to be revealed to the world. Yes. It's all about the love of That's Christ. That's what it's about. It's about the love. That is he, the only law that Jesus left. He that law that the from law to grace moved us moved us from a place of rules to a place of relationship. Yes, it did. From a place of rules. That's what Christianity to is. To a place of relationship. relationship. That's kingdom. Not just going through the motions, nobody, people not getting healed, hindering, people not getting restored, mm -hmm. no recovery of, of, of finances or no demonstration, no transformation taking place, no change, not being a person mm -hmm. of influence. Amen. Right. <laughs> wisdom is necessary. Is We've got to walk in the wisdom of God. Yes. And when you when you're walking in the wisdom of God, that is saying. You are exercising and demonstrating knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding, and you have gained insight. Somebody say, I'm gaining insight. I'm gaining insight. And you know what is to come <laughs> by perceiving through the lens of God. Yes, yes, yes. Not in your, I told you, not in your own strength. It's not about a feeling or how you feel, but coming into divine alignment with God and what in, in his word. Amen. 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 Being sensitive to the Holy Spirit, being uh, uh, operating in discernment, being constantly aware. Amen. God has 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 given us again strategy and instruction throughout this entire pandemic, throughout everything that we have experienced, all the chaos that's been going on 
in this earth and we've been ahead somebody say i've been ahead of the game always ahead of the we've game. been ahead of the game we're here to tell you tonight that you have the power to bring about demonstration here on this earth to bring about to demonstrate change on this earth to transform the world and manifest his kingdom you have the ability yes. to be this prophetic voice you have the ability to stretch forth your hands and to lay hands on yes. the sick and they can recover yes. you have the ability to lay hands on come on i'm talking to those being you. unto you according to your faith i'm talking to you yeah. you have the ability to lay hands on the sick they should recover eyes on bring, bring recovery to the blind eye. You have the ability to change and rearrange things. To, I told you last week, we ended with what are you going to call it? What are you going to say? I call it heal. I call you heal. I call you blessed. You, you, you can, you can speak over your own life, over your own finances. Frame your world with your words. I call my, I call my finances blessed. I call my, 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 my family restored. I call my body healed in name. I call my mind sound. I hold back the hand of the enemy. You have this power. You have this. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but you have treasure. That God has placed treasures on the inside of you. You somebody say I have treasure in there's treasure in this earthen vessel. There's treasure in this earthen vessel, and it's unlocking right now. The name of Jesus is being released and it's being revealed right now as you're under the sound of my voice. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I am God's treasure here on this earth. You say Hallelujah. You you you, you talk about the ability to heal and and, and cast out devils. That's, you gotta believe it. That's that's the, those are the very things that have been suppressed yes. when we rely on or, re, uh, or or try to go yes. through a method. That's that's the religious tradition that Jesus was talking about. He says you cause my word to be powerless. Yes. And 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 it's time out for that. And he gave us a demonstration and he proved it when he sent out the 72 by 2. What did they come back doing? Rejoicing. They we we cast out devils in your name. We we heal the sick in your name. He gave us an example. Jesus demonstrated how we are supposed to function on the earth. Yes, he did. He did that. He did. And so now is the time as we have transitioned into this age of kingdom for you and I, the common folk, to begin to demonstrate this, this change, demonstrate the, the power, hallelujah, you know, through, 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 hallelujah, you going into the world, laying hands out. Does Jesus send the 70 out? We're sending you out right now. There's someone yes. waiting on you. Right, yes, now. right now, hallelujah! Somebody needs you to cast out a devil. Yes. Somebody needs you to lay hands on. Them. Yes, somebody, somebody, somebody needs, somebody's waiting at the gate, called beautiful, and for you to say, "Silver and gold have I none, but what such I have, I give, give to thee." Rise up and walk. Rise They're waiting up. on you. Hallelujah. Rise up. Listen, They're waiting on you. The moment you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes and lives on the inside of you. Not when you speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. But when you open up your mouth and confess Jesus. Now we know that that change might not be evident at that moment, but it's there. Somebody say it's there. Somebody say I have the power have the on power. the inside of me. I have this influence mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit, this ability on the inside mm -hmm. of me right now. When I think about Philippians chapter 2, it says that we're not doing this. You're not to do this in your own strength. I, I can't, we can't, we can't stress this enough. You can't do it on your own. He says, because it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you. Yes. And this is one of my favorite scriptures. He says he's energizing you. Hallelujah. And he's creating in you the power and the desire. This is Philippians 2 and 13. God has given you the power yes. and the desire. Yes. So some of you to say, well, I just don't feel like doing it. We bind that right now in the name of Jesus. God has given you the power and the desire. Amen. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive. Both to will and to work for his good pleasure. You have the will and you have both to will and to work. The power and the desire for his good, for his satisfaction, and yeah. for it to have delight in this earth. Yeah, that's Philippians 2 and 13. All listen, day. The listen. It's God who worketh in us. This power and authority. Holy, oh, go ahead. Oh, my God. That's, that's it. This power and authority 
is in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to turn on life cycles and death cycles. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to shut the enemy. Y'all know I love uh, talking about true. shutting down the enemy in this earth. You can't walk in fear. Uh -huh. You can't be a punk. Uh -huh. You got to stand in the face of the enemy and stop him right in his tracks. You're not entering. Don't enter into no battle trying to fight. You got to stay ready and know that you've already won before he even approaches you. Yes. And then it gets, you get so, so powerful that the enemy don't even try you. He's like, oh no, that's my servant. That's that's God's servant. That's don't even try her. Don't no. even try her. You know what to do mm. when you don't know what to do. That's what the wisdom of God is all about. Sure we talked about Solomon asked for wisdom mm. because he knew that if he had wisdom then he had the mindset mm -hmm. to, to create whatever it is that he needed. He, he had the understanding and the, the, the knowledge to duplicate the will of God and the word of God, he, he would have insight. He would have discernment that would take care of all the other situations and yeah, the problems yeah. that would arise in his life. <laughs> it's time to use your voice. Somebody say, it's time for me to use my voice. Exactly. Rely on the word of yes. God. Rely on the Holy Spirit. There's power on the inside of you and allow mm -hmm. it to be the driving force, Amen. Pastor, to call forth decree and to, to declare to bring about change, to bring about revolution, to bring about renovation, to, re to, to bring about alterations, to bring about conversion, to, to cause a makeover to take place in this earth, just as it is in heaven. Somebody shout, I got the power. Got the power. If you didn't know power. tonight, you should be saying right now, shouting, I got the power. 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 I'm justified by my words. Matthew 12, 34 through 30, 37. Read power. it for yourself. You will be justified by your words or you either going to be condemned by your words. But you Jesus. know, the word in Romans 10, it says, I believe it says, the word is nigh thee even in your, even in your mouth. mouth. Even in your mouth. Wisdom is the principal thing. In all thine getting, Proverbs 4 and 7, get, get understanding. understanding. Yes. When you Come have on. understanding, you can you can exercise the word demonstrated That's in power. your life and get kingdom results. Because Listen, every time you act on God's word, this is what you, you can take with you. Every time you act on God's word, he's with you. Yes. Every time you act on God's word, his Come power on, is flowing through you. you every now. time you act on God's word, hallelujah, you already got victory. Already. You expect kingdom results, I hallelujah. Kingdom and let results. his glory be manifested through you. It's Jesus. just that simple. Listen, Pastor, we... Let me just calm down. Let me just calm you down. Let's see if we can calm down a little bit and get this thing... Just, just, just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Okay, come on. Come on. And since God says you are the salt of the earth, it's time for you to give it some flavor. Somebody flavor. say, it's time for me to give it some flavor. Flavor. <laughs> flavor. Listen, flavor. my words are seasoned. Yes. And it's time for me to use my word and to express flavor and to introduce flavor into this earth. Mm -hmm. That means that my flavor might not be your flavor. <laughs> I mean, there's a distinction that takes place. If the Bible says if you don't, you risk losing mm -hmm. your power. You risk losing this distinction. You risk losing your strength. You risk losing the might and the purpose that God wow. has made available to you. Then instead of you being transformed, you instead of you transforming the world, you begin to be subdued by the culture of the world. <laughs> Amen. Instead of you subduing it, it begins to take over and subdue you. You got to be that voice, uh, just like John the Baptist, of the one crying out in the wilderness. There's no excuse, even if you feel like you're in a dark place or in a place that's not so desirable. God says, and He's demonstrated, amen, that you are that voice. You have an ability to cry out in the wilderness, to introduce Jesus, to be a demonstration of his goodness, to be a demonstration of his coming, to be a demonstration of his wow. grace, to be a demonstration of his healing, to, 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 be a war to be a warning and to begin to teach about this kingdom age that you've been talking about. Using your power, using this influence that you now know that you have to compel others to love God, to trust God, to wholly rely on him, to have confidence in him, to incorporate his way of doing things. We quote Matthew 6 and 33 all the time. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. 
And we do we really have we really taken possession of that scripture, seeking first his kingdom, his way of doing things and not just his way of doing things, but where he's placed me in the scheme of things, his, his right, where he's made me right, where he's made me whole, where he's given me this power, where he's given me the authority, when he's let me loose. Somebody say God has let me loose where he's allowed me to come forth. And to show forth his goodness of the righteousness that he has made me. This, is this good? This is good. So We got to begin to move with the flow of the kingdom. What, what you just said to me is, oh, my words are, are, are powerful and death and life is in the power of my tongue. And so what you, what, you, what, you, what you told me was, when I speak words that didn't come from the word of God or the spirit of God, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in shackles. Yes. And so now I'm shackled and I'm muffled and I'm suppressed. Muffled. That means wow. that I'm being dominated, controlled by a source that did that does not agree with God. Jesus. But when I speak in agreement with God, I loose the shackles that are trying to uh, cause me to 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 commit uh, uh, what you what you what you say uh, uh, self hallelujah uh, self inflicted self wounds and I self sabotage myself when I speak in agreement with God and and I become the change because I become hallelujah a representation a picture of an expression of. Christ, a duplicate, hallelujah, the duplicate, hallelujah. When I speak the word of God, according to Colossians chapter three, I'm dead to what the world has to offer and I'm alive to Christ, the spirit that's in me. And so because of that, that's what the world gets. But I got to talk about the problem. God ain't saying talk about the problem. He said, speak to the problem. The fig tree was a problem because it did not produce fruit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't have time to spend time talking about, you know what you did to me. You tricked me. You fooled me. I came to you. I was hungry and you ain't have no figs for me. You ain't got time for that. Jesus said, speak to it from the fruit, from the root and say, no longer, hallelujah, will man eat from you again. Hallelujah. What are you doing? You are shutting the enemy mm -hmm. down. Shutting them down. And power. Create a, create a solution instead of speaking to the problem yes. and walking away from it, just murmuring and complaining. Come on. Create a solution. Come on. Replace the solution, the problem with the solution. God says that we're supposed to be have all the answers. We're, the world is supposed to be coming to mm -hmm. us for the answers. We've Ooh. got to begin to be under full of and under the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on. We've got to begin to move with the flow of the kingdom. What does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. That means that there's a surge taking place. Somebody shout, there's a surge, a surge taking surge. place. That means that there's a need to rush forward. <laughs> there is a need to receive this pouring out of God's spirit, this pouring out of his glory. There's a current need in this present time right now, existing right now. Somebody say it's, it's in progress right it's now. Progress it's right taking now. place right now. Mm -hmm. It's necessary that you hear for what's going on right now. Pre a present time word, present time truth. Mm -hmm. to, 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 to be able to discern and to hear and to speak and to deliver uh -huh. a prophetic yeah. word. A need to hear and a, there, there's a need to, to speak with accuracy and boldness, yes, with yes. precision and insight. Yes. And, and this is going to take spending time and listening yes, for yes. God and listening to God so that you can speak uh, in alignment with God and, and be his, his representative and speak on behalf of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Your voice being used as a driving force. Come on. As a catalyst, amen, as a trailblazer for this change that we've been talking about, igniting this demonstration, this transformation, causing it to erupt. Amen. There's an eruption that's about to take place and it's taking place through you, the believer. You've got to allow your words to call us a sudden change and an, an active eruption to take place on the earth. Recognizing that your words are spiritual forces, they're yeah. spiritual containers. Yes. You preach it. That's good teaching. Listen, before we run out of time, let, let's let's talk about uh, 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 this power a little more. That mm -hmm. this power to demonstrate change, and we're almost done. Just stick with us just a few more minutes. Somebody say, stick with them just stick a few more moments. This, this is good. Somebody say, come on in the comment section. Uh, this is good. Say, this, this is, is good. Come on, talk back to us. This is good. Mm -hmm. 
what is this power we're talking about? What is this influence, this, mm -hmm. this authority that's been given to you, this control mm -hmm. that's been given to you, the believer? Mm -hmm. What are we talking about that you possess, that you have right now? What do you what is it that you have in the house? Well, go with us to 2 Corinthians because I don't want anybody to say, well, they didn't even turn to a scripture. But you know what? The Bible says that we are the living word. We we are living epistles. Amen. When you get to the place where you're living, you're you're living epistle for God. It, it, when you open up your mouth, the word of God comes out. Amen. Where are we going? Where are we going? 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's go to. And we talked about this earlier. Uh, let's see. Let's look at verse. Um, you want to start at verse six or seven? Second Corinthians chapter four. Mm. Well, let's just we'll just read through it. So, let's go, yeah, let's go to verse six. Verse six. Right. I'm going to read the Amplified. It says, "For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts as to beam forth." Mm. The light for the illumination uh -huh. uh, of the knowledge of the majesty and glory of God as it is manifest in the person and is revealed Where? in the person okay. and is revealed in the face of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. It says, however, we possess this precious treasure, mm -hmm. the divine light of the gospel in frail human mm -hmm. vessels of uh -huh. earth. Mm -hmm. That the grandeur and exceeding greatness of the power may be shown to be from God and not from ourselves. Amen. Amen. Another translation says we have treasure in earthen vessels that the excellent excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. We have this light shining in our hearts. Yeah. Even though we're like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure this makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from our sales man listen to this and I love this translation it says if you only look at us you might well miss the brightness <laughs> it says listen th this is talking about us somebody say this is talking about us the believer it says we carry this precious message around in the unadorned clay pots of our ordinary lives that's to prevent anyone co from confusing God's incomparable power with us as it is there's not much chance of that you know for yourselves that we're not much to look at we've been surrounded and battered by troubles but we're not demoralized. Mm -hmm. We're not sure what to do, but we know that God knows what to do. Wow. We've been spiritually terrorized, but God has not left our side. Mm -hmm. We've been thrown down, but we haven't been broken. What they did to Jesus, they do to us. Trial and torture, mockery, murder. What Jesus did among them, he does now in us. Amen. Yeah. He lives. Yeah. Our lives are at constant risk for Jesus' sake, which makes Makes Jesus life all the more evident in us while we're going through the worst you're getting in on the best <laughs> God says although you may going may be going through the worst or feel like you're going through the worst you're getting in on the best because you have treasure in earth and vessels somebody say I'm God's treasure I'm God. there's treasure on the inside of me treasure and, I'm inside of me. Yes. and I'm demonstrating his power I'm bringing about change uh -huh. and I'm bringing about transformation on this earth amen let's talk about this demonstration of power come on number one talking about this demonstration of power I'm talking to you and we're almost done number one you have power over the earth amen power over the earth go to Genesis chapter one. Somebody say, don't, don't, don't log off. Don't, don't log, log off. off. This Kiss, is good. Kiss. This is for you. And, and if you have your uh, ink pens or notebooks, write this down. Demonstration of power. This is, this is you. This is for you to believe it. You need to know this. Demonstration of power. What power? Number one, you can demonstrate power. Number one, power over the earth. Yes. Genesis 1 and 28. Mm-hmm. And God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, using all his vast resources in the service of God and man. 
and have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. He's telling you to replenish the earth, to refill it, mm -hmm. to reload it, to, to restock it, to subdue it, to have control yeah. over it, uh -huh. to be disciplined over the earth, mm -hmm. and to have dominion. Mm -hmm. That's having this power that we're talking about. Yeah. This authority, this control. When God said he blessed you, God has sanctified you. You need to know that tonight. God has sanctified you. He's given you the ability. He set you apart to multiply, to bring about increase, yeah. to bring about growth in the earth, mm -hmm. to develop the earth, to multiply uh, what, he's, what he's giving you. He says that you are to govern it. That's power to rule over it, to manage it, to oversee it. And then, listen, he says that you are to prosper when he blessed him. Mm -hmm. God has mandated, he has set up for you that you are to be flourishing. Yes, to you yes. are to, to, to have more than enough, to, to, to bring about, to, to, to flourish, to thrive, to do well, to make money. I mean, God has 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 given you the, an anointing to make money, to 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 be a duplicate, to to imitate Him. God is saying tonight, it's time for you to take charge. <laughs> it's time for you to to be responsible and take charge. Somebody say, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Power over the earth. Demonstration of power. You have power over the earth. Come That's on, Pastor. Tell us number two. Number two is. The power to defeat the enemy. Power to defeat. Power the enemy. to defeat the enemy. Go to Luke ten, Luke ten, and uh, when you have it, say Amen. Amen. And you need to know this. Uh, this is Jesus. He's speaking. Hallelujah. And 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 and, and hear me clearly. I'm gonna start reading here. Uh, uh, this is something that I talked about. The seventy, they're returning, and he said here. I'll start reading at, at uh, uh, verse eighteen. He said, "I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven." Verse nineteen: Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents yes. and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, yes. and nothing shall by any nothing. means hurt you. I have given you authority. I've given you power yes. to trample upon serpents and scorpions physically and ment mental strength and the ability over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. God has given Jesus. you power, ability that comes through his word. Through you, he gave he gave you power and ability that flows throughout his out of throughout his holy spirit spirit that's living on the inside of you you are the channel you are the opening by and the means by which the holy spirit floods the earth with the power of god you have the ability and the capacity hallelujah to manifest heaven on earth establish heaven on earth hallelujah by what you speak how you respond how you agree when you agree with god everything is possible to you you are limitless we've limited our, our ourselves because of our way of thinking. We have not thought in line with the Holy Spirit. We have not thought in agreement with God. And so because of that, we have not functioned and flow with the power of God. But tonight, you have power over the earth and you have power to defeat the enemy. Listen, when the power of God flows, everything changes. Somebody everything say everything. Changes. Everything has shifted. It's changing. Mm -hmm. God has given you influence. Yes, you got to know that God has given you the right. The mm -hmm. right. God has given you clout. Somebody yeah. say, I got clout. Man. I'm in the God class tonight. Yes. I found out I'm in the God class. I have clout. God is my defense. He's my shield. He's my guard. He's shielding me and sheltering me. He's, he set a supply he, uh, aside. He's our security. Amen. The of the most high. Let, let, let's move on so we can get done. <laughs> How, hallelujah. This demonstration of power. Number three, power to do the greater works. Man, this is what we've been talking about. The whole, Power to from do the, the greater works. Of, of, of this ministry, the greater works. This is what Jesus left for us to do. And go, go us to, the, was it a John chapter 14? Come on. John chapter 14. You going to read it or you want me to read it? You can read it. You, you want okay, let's go. Uh, here, this is, I'm starting at verse 10. This is Jesus speaking. Believest thou that not that I am in the Father and the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. Somebody say the Holy Spirit dwells in Holy me. Spirit dwells he in me. doeth the work. 
believes me, hallelujah, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he, I'm talking to you, that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall you do, because I go to the Father. So where is Jesus? Yes. Jesus is with the Father, right? Yes. We see in, 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 in John 16 and 13, and here, even in verse 26, he sent you the Comforter. The Comforter is the Holy Spirit who, who, who teaches you all things, hallelujah, brings all things back to your remembrance, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And so because he's, he's, he's saying that we're doing greater works, what are we doing? We are continuing the work that Jesus started. We are furthering it. We are expanding. This is this is clear that he he was talking about expansion. This is clear that he was talking about establishment. What was he establishing? Kingdom, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. through you. Yes. But it takes you believing, and the corresponding action is you acting on what you believe, acting on what he said, acting on whatever the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit tells you to do. Do it. Amen. Power. So power over the earth. Power to defeat the enemy. Power to do the greater works. Power to do power to do the greater works. He's saying that God is saying that you've got to recognize that you are superior. You are superior. You've been set up. You're in a God That class. you are bigger than anything yes. that you could face. Amen. Come on. And he said because of that, you can do the same. Somebody said, I can do the same. Do the now, same. some people, I know this might be a little heavy for you, but it says it right this here. You real. can do the same identical, real. unchanged work and even bigger and larger and superior. He is just telling you to be an extension of what he already started. Mm -hmm. To finish what he started. Somebody shout, I'm finishing what Jesus, I'm started, what Jesus started here on this earth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Number four. It's power to demonstrate change. You have the power to be a witness. Somebody shout, I am the proof. I am you have the, the power proof. to be a witness, to be the proof. Mm -mm. Power to be a witness, to be the proof. Go to Acts chapter 1. Come on. Amen. Somebody shout glory. Glory to God. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to read the amplifiers. It said, amplified. It said, you shall receive power. There's power again. Uh -huh. The ability. God has made you efficient. You have what everything that you need. Uh -huh. You have the pipe, the, the might through uh -huh. him. You shall receive this power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Mm -hmm. That means that you're leaning on and you're supported and backed up by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That you shall be my witness. In Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and the and to the ends, the very bounds of the earth. God's saying tonight, He's giving you the efficiently. You uh, say I'm efficient. Mm -hmm. I'm a because I'm going in the might of Christ, not in my own strength. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is upon me. I'm leaning on it. I'm I'm depending on you, Lord. I'm backed yes. up by heaven. Heaven is backing you up tonight. Yes. You've got to know this. Hallelujah. And now I am God's witness. I'm his, I'm his voice, I'm his proof, I'm his evidence, I'm his witness, notifying and announcing to the world. <laughs> Amen? I'm, I'm his an witness. Agent. Hallelujah. An Thank agent Jesus. for change. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Number five, you have the power to heal. Yeah. Come on, Pastor, the power to heal. Power We're to almost heal. done. We're almost done. Stick with us. Thank you, Lord. That's the power Mark to heal. 16. Mark you need to get this. Mark chapter 16. Come on, receive this tonight. Enlarge your capacity to receive. I'm going to begin reading that verse eight, uh, 15, 16 and 15. He said here, go into all the world and preach and publish openly the good news, the gospel to every creature of the whole human race. He who believes, he who adheres to and trusts in and relies on on the gospel and him whom it is set forth and is baptized will be saved from the penalty of eternal death. But he who does not believe, who does not adhere to and trust in and rely on the gospel and him who sets it forth will be condemned. And these things attesting signs will accompany those who believe. 
in my name, I'm talking about you. Yes, come on. They will drive out demons. They will speak in new languages. They will pick up serpents. Even if they drink any deadly, anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will get well. Hallelujah. He's talking about you. And when he's talking about you, he said that he would be with you. Hallelujah. Strengthening you. And so you don't have to be afraid afraid that when you lay hands on the sick that they'll, they'll recover you just have to understand believe and know that when you do it yes. it is the holy spirit who is god working through you that's who you rely on that's who you expect hallelujah to produce the power because he's the power source that's flowing through you hallelujah let me just read quick, quickly this 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 message translation it says to go into the world Go everywhere and announce. announce. That means to proclaim, to make known, to publicize, mm -hmm. to pronounce and declare the message of God's good news to mm -hmm. one and to all. Mm -hmm. It says, whoever believes and is baptized is saved. Whoever refuses to believe is damned. There are some of the signs, that's demonstrations, mm -hmm. that will accompany you. Mm -hmm. And it says that it will escort you and lead the way. You will throw out demons in my name, speak in new tongues, new languages, and take snakes in your hands, and they will drink poison and not be hurt. And then it says, you will lay hands on the sick and make them well. Somebody say, I'm demonstrating. I'm demonstrating. I'm demonstrating. I'm demonstrating. Number six, you have the power to turn lives around. Yes, you do. You have the power to turn lives around. And this is in Job chapter 22. Job chapter 22, and I'm going to uh, uh, begin at verse uh, 28, mm -hmm. through, and I'm going to go to verse 30. Okay. It says, you will succeed in whatever you choose to do. It says, light will shine on the road ahead of you. If people are in trouble and you say, help them, God will save them. Even mm -hmm. sinners will be rescued. They will be rescued because your hands are pure. Mm -hmm. Pure. You have the power to turn lives around. Another translation says that whatever you decide that you want, you'll speak it and it'll happen. I told you to begin to speak the things. The Korea thing and so shall it, it shall be established. He says those that will feel low, you'll say, hold your head up. Mm -hmm. Hold your chin up and be brave and God will save, save them. And even the guilty will escape. Come on. You have the power to turn lives around. And the last one, hallelujah, number seven. Amen. This is what we've been saying to you the whole time. This is in Acts chapter two. You have the power to be a prophetic voice. Come on. You are the prophetic voice. Yes, you are. Acts chapter two. Glory, God. We give you glory, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Acts chapter two and verse number, let's see. Where we want to go? Eight. Is it um? Eight. Let's go at two and at Acts chapter two and verse two. Okay. Let's start at verse two. You see something in verse eight? He said you will see power. <laughs> Let's look at verse two. Okay. He said, when suddenly they came, there came a sound from heaven like the rushing of a violent tempest blast, and it filled the whole house in which they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues resembling fire, which were separated and distributed, and which settled on each one of them. Mm -hmm. And they were filled, diffused throughout their souls with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other different foreign languages, tongues, as the Spirit kept giving them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Spirit kept giving them clear Mm -hmm. And loud expression in each tongue in appropriate words. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Now go down to verse 16. It says, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind. Somebody yeah. say all mankind. All mankind. Your sons and your daughters shall what? Prophesy. Prophesy. What is that? Telling forth the divine counsels and your young men shall see visions, divinely granted appearances, and your old men shall dream divinely suggested dreams. What is he saying here? That you 
that, that suddenly there was a, a sound. Mm -hmm. It was a sound of significance, significance, a sound of quality. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was an important sound. It, it resounded. Amen. And it came from heaven. And it says there appeared to them tongues. And it said it's it, the, the, the language settled there. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 it was established. That language was developed and that language was matured. It, it began to advance. And then the, the blessing in this says that it was extended to everyone. Somebody say everyone. everyone. And it kept on. Shut and it kept up. on. Somebody shut in uninterrupted flow. <laughs> in up to flow. And it says in the last days that he's going to pour out his spirit. There it goes again, that new wine skin for fresh wine yeah. upon all mankind. That means that every person, somebody say every person, every person. All, people, all people, male and female, he said on his men's service and his maid servant, men and women, yes, men and women, hallelujah, <laughs> in those days, God, in these days, we're in those days, yes, God is are. pouring out his spirit. Yes. He's giving us fresh wine. Uh -huh. and, it's, and, and, and it says that we will pour prophesy. Uh -huh. It's time to tell forth the divine counsels of God. It's time to predict future events, yes. to know what's happening before it happens. And God is doing that through you. Amen. You've got to recognize that you have the power to demonstrate change. Mm -hmm. You have power over the earth. You have power to defeat the enemy. You have power to do the greater works. You have the power to be a witness, to be the proof. You have the power to heal. You have the power to turn lives around. Mm -hmm. And you have the power to be a prophetic voice. Yes, you do. Glory. Glory to God. Is and this I, good? That's good. Is this good news? And, and it's powerful. And it, and, it, and, it, and it equips the believers to go out and do the work. When I know I have a prophetic voice, and understand me, when we're talking about a prophetic voice and demonstrating change, it's not necessarily you always having to speak, but in your actions, in your ethics, mm -hmm. hallelujah, your character, it, it gives off a voice. It reveals the voice of Christ. Mm -hmm. So when people see you, hallelujah, and operating in integrity and, the, and with the character of Christ, hallelujah, it is uh, the prophetic voice that draws them to him. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when you open up your mouth, hallelujah, they are hooked. They're drawn in. Hallelujah. Compelled. When you open up your mouth, yes, they're compelled. Hallelujah. When you open up your mouth, they experience the power of God flowing through you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's what that is. This is good. This you is a life changing word. are equipped to demonstrate change. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's time Hallelujah for the takeover. It is time for the revolution. It is time out. God has canceled the masquerade party. And I decree tonight, and I, 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 I'm sensing this in my spirit, on, that there's an avalanche of gifts and callings that are coming forth. And to flood this earth with the gifts and callings by way of the Spirit of God, you, functioning and flowing through us. You, and I believe Spirit. with all of my heart, we're about to take over, hallelujah. Avalanche. Matter of fact, we've already started taking over, the hallelujah. takeover has begun. Hallelujah. It's already here, amen. So, man, I'm so grateful for this word, and, and, and I just, I'm just, I just appreciate the opportunity. You, we Spirit. appreciate the opportunity yes, to, yes, to, yes. to be able to to join with you and 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 and, and teach and preach and, and and give instruction and strategy and to inform you of who you are, to empower you and equip you to go into all the world and preach this gospel and demonstrate change. Hallelujah! You have a prophetic voice. You are full of the power of God. Amen. Amen. And you have a responsibility to share this message. Yes, you do. To share this good news that you've just received. When you mm -hmm. go to a good restaurant and the food is good, you tell them, hey, it's a restaurant over yeah. here and it's good food. Well, share it with some. Don't keep it mm -hmm. like Jeremiah. Don't keep it to yourself. Share it. Share this message. Mm -hmm. Go back and listen to it. Go back and meditate on it. Ponder mm -hmm. on it. Receive it. Allow God to give you greater revelation and insight on what you've just heard. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you're on, on this live stream tonight and and, and, and you say, I want to take part in, in, in what you're talking about. I want to be a part of this demonstration of change. I want to be able to exercise and express this power mm -hmm. here on this earth. I want to open up my mouth and, and, and use my hands and stretch forth my hands and receive mm -hmm. what God has intended for me to do. Mm -hmm. 
If that's you and you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's as simple as accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior and making a decision to live according to his word, to come into alignment yeah. with everything that we've talked about tonight. Amen. So that if that's you, you can just lift your hands. We're, it's no type of formality or no, we're not doing any type of theatrical acts or anything like that. <laughs> it's just as simple as you, you, you've made a decision. You've made a conscious Amen. decision. And you just lift up your hands right where you are. And you just say, I believe, I receive, I confess with my mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead. Come into my heart, be my Lord and master. I make a conscious decision to align myself with your word and to do the greater works, to gain greater understanding, Hallelujah. insight, wisdom, and knowledge and awareness of what it is, what you would have me to do in this earth. You now have the power to bring heaven, to express heaven, and to manifest heaven on this earth. Somebody, you can go ahead and say, I have the power. If that was you, you can go ahead and, and go agree with us tonight that I now have the power. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the kingdom of Welcome God. Welcome to the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We love you all so much. Yes, Lord. We love you from the bottom of our heart. Yes, we appreciate God. you taking the time out Thank to you, just Holy fellowship Spirit. with us and join Thank us you, for these Thursday nights. And we just ask that you continue to share because we're trying to get the word out. We're trying to empower people. Uh, this is, we're, we're fulfilling the call, the mandate on our lives. And with your help, hallelujah, we can change the world. We can demonstrate change to the world. Amen. And so we are thankful. We don't take you for granted. Every time you every time you join us for service, we are so, so uh, uh, thankful. And we express great gratitude to you on tonight for that. Yes. Just go ahead and, and, and share this with somebody and, and, and get in the groups and conversate about yes. it so yes. that we can take over. It's yes. time for us to take over. Yes. It's time for us to see the manifestation yes. of God's glory. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, so, so let's pray. Amen. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory, God. We thank you, Lord, for the word we that we you, heard Jesus. on tonight. Yes, God. And we thank you that it has been it pierced you, the hearts Jesus. of your people yes, and Lord. is forever engrafted into their hearts. Yes, God. Cause your words, hallelujah, to flow through them. Yes, Lord. Give them clarity and understanding, yes, Father. Inject them, Father, into Lord. their callings and gifts, Father, you, so that they can manifest your glory on this earth in yes, Jesus' God. mighty name. Now, we bless your people and we declare right now in the name of Jesus yes, that the Lord. gifts and the the callings are flooding, hallelujah, yes, their very flood. being like an avalanche right in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The resources that are needed are coming forth in the, yes, name, of in the name of Jesus. We declare over them, Father, that yes. their week will be blessed beyond measure yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And the glory is hit in their house yes. as we speak. Yes. Yes. Now to him, we're able to keep you from falling in position faultless before his glorious presence. The glory, majesty, dominion, and power now hits forth and forever. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to join us on Sunday at 9.50, Amen. I mean, at 10, 10 30, amen, as we bring forth the word of God, amen. I'm just yes. excited, amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. And when you come, hallelujah, come to the tailgate party, come with your jerseys, wear your hat yes. for your faithful yes. football yes. team. Yes. We're going to have a tailgate turkey bowl party on Sunday, hallelujah. and we're going to bring forth the word, and we're going to rejoice, hallelujah, with God, yes. amen. Yes. Amen. Good night, everybody. Hallelujah. We love you and we appreciate you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Continue to transform the world and Amen. manifest the kingdom. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you.